Hello everyone. In this quick video, I will just show you how you can uh, disqualify leads on Salesforce. And more than that, how you can give a reason why is disqualified, why a lead is disqualified. I think it's really important uh, that your sales representative uh, are explaining why a lead is disqualified. And then you, you will be able to have report to understand uh, what are the main reasons of disqualification. And based on that, you can identify bottleneck and um, improve like the way, um, improve your business processes. So let's jump into that. At this stage, you see that the lead uh, have a few stages. So us, what we will do is first add some lead status. So I'm going to set up in my Salesforce instance, and I will go on the object manager. I will then write lead. So I click on enter. I click on lead. Then I will go into field and relationship. And I, after that, I will go in lead status. Once I'm in lead status, you can see that here I have a pick list value with four different stage. I have open, working, closed, converted, and closed, not converted. So what I will do is I will, um, I will add new status. I will add qualified and uh, so qualified. I will click save and new and I will add this disqualified. Okay, so I have added uh, disqualified, qualified, closed, converted, and uh, closed, not converted. I don't need it up, so I will remove this one. Uh, I will just uh, reorder my leads, my lead status. So let's go into it. Um, so, so it's take a bit of time to chart, but we have open, working, closed, converted. So I will put it at the bottom, qualified, disqualified. Okay, so I can save that. And now I will uh, refresh my instance and you will be able to see that I have different stage. I have open, not contacted, working, contacted qualified, disqualified, converted. So if I go on qualified, then it's good. Then, but if I go on disqualified, <clears throat> nothing happened. Like we don't know basically why the lead is on disqualified. So what I will do now is I will uh, create a, a new field in my CRM called disqualified reason and this new field will be a pick list so i select pick list i click on next then i will uh, i will so i just have this here and i will call this field lead disqualification reason so i click here the field name is automatically populated i click value i will enter my own value and based on uh, the client request, we already have the reason. So it could be unsuccessful, not pursue, plan further action and revisit. If time will pursue, referral out. But it could be also uh, other reasons such as no budget, uh, no time, or interested. Okay, so once I define this value, I can click on next. And I will make it visible for everyone. And then I will, uh, I will save it. Okay. And now what I will do is I will create a field dependency between my lead status, so I click on new, 
I select controlling field lead status and dependent field lead disqualification reason. I continue. And here I can select that when the lead is disqualified, I want all these um, field to be, all these value to be connected to the disqualified statue reason. I click on include value. I click on save. Okay. And now you will, I will refresh my instance of Salesforce. If you click on qualified, that's great. If you click on disqualified and you click on mark as the current status, here you can see I have my disqualification reason. So I can say this lead is disqualified because he have no budget, which is really good uh, because let's say you do that for 1000 lead, you will be able to um, generate re report on why most of the time your lead are disqualified. Uh, which is really important uh, for you and for your business to identify some bottleneck and iterate on your business processes and find a way to reduce um, the, the number of lead disqualification. Uh, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any question, please let me know in the comment below. Thank you.